Did it, did it look cool when I smacked my head on the, on the door? Awesome. Can't tell the photo. All right. Uh, I am in about three seconds. Yep. You just have to push the button on the sides. And you can head up behind the yellow super right there and just wait for him to leave you out. Alright, thank you. Alright. My first ever drive at Eagles Canyon Raceway. First ever drive in a three liter Supra. We shall see. We shall see what the fuss is all about. Um, already rounded off the bat ergonomically. I can barely fit my head in with the helmet. This is basically my normal position, but I'm going to slouch a little bit, cinch up my belt, and do my best. I think for now, the traction control's off. I'm in sport mode. We're doing a lead follow lap, and then uh, I get to do one by myself. But a lead follow is good because it gets to learn the course a little bit. Let's see what this dude's gonna do. So 
how did it feel? Fantastic. Oh, good. All right. In stock form, this thing is pretty darn capable. It is. You know, yeah. I mean, for I mean, I'm a track junkie, and it's like, yeah, of course, other things, but like, for a GT car, essentially, it's freaking awesome it's out here. Yeah. You're comfortable holy... with all the controls. Everything's good. Yeah, I just, yeah. you know, got an auto. I'm, I'm, I hit the pedals occasionally. This transmission's smart enough. I'm right. probably just gonna take it easy. It's, yeah, it's a three. Do, it's yeah, a three-quarter day. If you want to do the paddles? You just knock the shift lever to the left. Oh, okay. Sport, and then you can play with the paddles a lot more. It'll be a little more aggressive for you. Oh, it. all right, cool. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, try I'll not try to floor it. it until you get to the tower for me, okay? Okay. undeniably fast the chassis is super tight it's rigid it rotates really nicely it's an awesome car I just feel like Toyota could have probably made something pretty similar themselves I know I know I know partnerships collaborations and I'm admittedly anti BMW so that doesn't help things here but <sighs> it's a hell of a car <laughs> Super 3 liter Eagles Canyon Raceway in Texas. Not a bad way to start the day out. All right, so four cylinder Supra, manually adjustable seats, which so far, not loving a whole lot. Drop this down, let's see here. Oh man, this is really, oh, this, you know, the, the headrest, oh, it's uncomfortable. How did I work in the, you know, the six cylinder one actually worked a little bit better than this one does, which is weird. Well, I'm just going to be uncomfortable for a little bit, I guess. All right, should be good. Keep Thank on, you. Have fun. Be safe. Nothing, nothing, and it kicks it at three grand like crazy.
has a lot of power and it probably would be fine for like road use, but it's not as responsive. I really do like the dynamics of it, but it is nowhere as good as the big one. The big one kind of command, the three liter kind of commands respect with its power and its and its capability to the point where you kind of don't want to lean into it as a hard, whereas this one kind of feels nearly toy-like like an FRS. The balance is better and it feels more neutral, but the engine is just sort of okay. I mean, I don't really love four-cylinder turbos all that much because of this sort of, you know, uh, wait for it, a small block of torque, and then upshift early. And on a track, you know, you want to rev out a little bit more. That six-cylinder Supra behaves more like a naturally aspirated. The throttle response is better. There's power all over the place, and it builds more. It feels more naturally aspirated. It's a way better engine. And not just for power, just characteristics. <phone rings> just characteristics and the, the way it feels and drives and is responsive. This feels like the wrong engine in, in a good car. Now, obviously the perfect weather is, perfect scenario is the engine characteristics or the engine from the other one, but have this balance, but you just can't have it. So they both, they both, um, they both remain impressive packages and there are buyers for each of these. As a road car, this would be tremendous, but uh, if you do want to go on the track, I really do think you need the other one, the big three liter. Yeah. <sighs> this one always takes me a bit to get situated. Sport mode, traction control off. Okay, so we are in manual mode. Let's go back a little bit. Just a little bit up. Let's do it. Good go. All good, thank you, sir.
this is so much, so much better than the four cylinder. Um, the balance isn't good. I feel like I gotta be more careful with this for sure. It feels like it'll bite harder and it won't be as progressive. I love the balance of that four cylinder, but that engine is just boring. It is boring. And this one is certainly not boring. The transmission still occasionally fights you. Um, I'm just used to driving naturally aspirated cars and I'm not used to short shifting to get torque. Um, but uh, it's awesome and it just behaves the way you want it to. It's an enthusiast engine and the other one just doesn't feel like it. But um, another hot lap and a three liter Supra at Eagles Canyon Raceway. No complaints, we're having a good day here.